Good morning, modern steaders. We only got an inch and a quarter of rain last night, guys. <laughs> the new culvert and catch basin we put in is working well and draining all the water away from the barn. Well, that's a positive thing. At least we got to check that out. Can you hear the pigs, guys? They're staying inside the PPM. Good morning, pork. You like your new house? Huh? You liking the new house? You too, Chops? You wanna get fed inside? There you go. Looks like they've been using the watering nipple. Awesome. Good morning, girls. The way you girls act, you would think you never get fed. You get have food in front of you all day long. That's all you think about, huh? I swear, the way goats act, the way goats act with food, you would think they never get fed. No matter how much feed you give a goat, they always want more. That's why we always have hay out for them to eat. They need to be eating all the time, but we don't want to be giving them grain and alfalfa all the time. I don't think she left you anything this morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning, girl. Yes. There's one little chicken up on the hay feeder. Hay feeder, chick feeder, there they go. Kiddos. And one little barred rock chick stayed out last night. Let's see. Uh, not quite full, but it's at least halfway. I noticed yesterday I was missing the back cap, the gutter, and that one is undone. I'll have to fix that and we'll be able to capture more rain and water every time it rains out. Come on guys. I want to start working on the loft. We need to get our main 2x6s going across. Had all the lumber under cover, which I'm glad we did with all that rain we got last night. Concrete slab's still a little wet. But... So this brace, it's gonna be in our way where it is. We're gonna drop it down. Our first two by is gonna go right here. So we need to get it in there. We need to make sure we're low enough so it's not in our way. All right, we can come up quite a bit still. That'll be good right there. Okay. Drop it right there. My goal today is to get the loft all up, the two bys all installed, and then the decking on. And then after that, we can start sheathing the side walls. That's how far I'd like to get, but you know how that goes.
Now I upgraded a bit and I went to a two by eight versus a two by six. I'm gonna put one screw here. And we're gonna go down here and work it up. the level on it and see that's good right there guys good thing too because we can't go any higher I like it bada boom bada bang Nice. Now we gotta do one more right here. All right, let's switch the bit over. in place. Let's get one started. Oop. Go as high as we can. Level on it while we're right here. That side's gonna come up a smidge, and it needs to anyway, so that's gonna be perfect. This side is down just the amount we need to go up. There we go. I like it, guys. Perfect. All right, let's get a measurement.
You know what I should have got before we got up, guys? A hammer. I'm gonna have to get down and get one, I bet you. It'll be a little bit of up and down today doing this, that's for sure. There. All right, we got the crown up. Like that. One little trick we can do is six inches. If you're new to the channel, this is a post and beam farm kit that we purchased off the internet from jamaicacottageshop.com. I'll have links in the description down below to their website and all the different buildings they make. There's a huge variety of them. But so far, I've been loving working with this kit and putting it together. It's been a breeze. I'll put a link to a playlist right here of the whole series so far of building our barn. All right, let's get the stage and set we want it. Get that set on top of that. All right, let's grab a hammer. Could have used it last time. We have it, we won't need it. We don't have it, we always need it. Let's try this again. Boom, there we go. Whew. Ah, that's what I was afraid of, folks. That's what I was afraid of happening. I like that. Let's get these two set. Let's go work that end. Good right there. It's centered in the lines. Center's 24 and center. Rough sawn lumber's not always the same thickness, so. I'll go 
go back and toenail it from the back after. over on one of the nails and we can flop it onto the other one I like it it was just in there it's just because we're at a weird angle now blocks for this next step. It'll make our life a lot easier. I guess if I was thinking, I would have done this for the raft. Oh wow. Well. I'll need it for this one for sure. like that.
let's see what side we want out. They're both pretty. I would say this side out. Let's do it this way. Good. I like it so far. Give it a little love tap. Make sure it's staying on that end. Take out the blocks for now. Oops. This one next. Now I need to work the top of this. I want it to be nice and flush. Ah, there we go. Just keep working it back and forth. Make sure we're nice and level, or flush, I should say, not level, before we get too far ahead of ourselves. These are four inches long, so they're going a little bit into all of them. One more set right here. And then I want to work this end up. I like that. Let's do this.
check layout for our floor joists for our flooring. So we're gonna be eight feet on center right there. Okay, so we're gonna start with our flooring this way. So we'll start over here and then work our way that way. Let's grab some of our flooring. Last one. Nice. This is what it looks like from the underside. Piggies, it's nice out. You should be out of the PPM. Huh? You like it in there? like you're using the water. Well, I like it. How do you know? Looks wet under it. Want some hay? Hope. You're not supposed to go in there. You're too big for that. Does she just go in there? She does. <laughs> Little P and Magnolia go in there. She likes to get in there now too. I know, but she can still stay in there. Yep, barely. Oh, look at the two of you in there eating hay together. So cute. Do you like it up here? Yeah. You can look down the lane. Pretty snazzy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, say look at all the apples. That's a lot of apples. Be close to the edge. Yeah. They're all over the place. Look at all them eggs, guys. Holy moly. Two. I think it was from all the commotion with the excavators and the dump trucks and the concrete truck that was doing it and made them slow up laying eggs, guys. They didn't like all the commotion. It's been really nice building the kit from Jamaica Cottage Shops. It's one of the best parts, I think, is it comes with plans. I remember when 
we first started building our house that we live in now. The first day I got here we had the shell built and I built everything else and I remember just feeling so overwhelmed and I kind of got anxious and I was like, man, where do I start? There's just so many things to do. And I just stopped, looked back and said, you know what? How do you eat an elephant? This is my elephant, one step at a time. There's no right or wrong place to, to start. Just start doing something. And we got the house done. But that being said, the barn comes with plans. I know where to start. I know what is the next step. But it's just one of those things. It's always great to have a project going on. We learn so much from everything we do, whether we think we mess it up, whether it's way over our head. I think sometimes the best thing to do is jump in, get way over your head, figure it out with wisdom. Don't just do something you can't do, but figure it out. And then you learn so much from it. Thanks, guys, for coming on our journey with us. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. We'll see you right back here in the next video. I can't wait. I'm hoping to get Gina and Olivia out there with me tomorrow or the next day, and we're going to stop putting the siding on. I'm so excited for that. We'll see you right back here in that video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.